Okay guys, uh, today's video is going to be on uh, 208, 120 volt, three phase power. Um, I uh, have this system at my work and I, was, I had never run across it before. I thought it was pretty unusual. Uh, I'm finding out now that it's not unusual. Uh, but uh, just wanted to uh, make a video on it because it has some really neat features and uh, uh, thought uh, it could come in handy. Um, the uh, three phase aspect of it was something that I wasn't um, I was I wasn't sure about. I thought it was that you only needed three phase power if you were uh, running uh, uh, heavy equipment motors and whatnot but uh, you can actually use it as a as a three separate uh, drops for for 120 volts um, so that was that's that's just kind of a little bit new to me but uh, went ahead and uh, went through the system here and I uh, documented what I had and thought I'd just uh, share it real quick and then um, get a video showing the uh, the practical example the real world what it looks like um, on ours here we have uh, basically four wires coming on the uh, on the power poles over to our 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 yard, and those uh, those are the three main uh, uh, power legs and the neutral. Um, the power company here is running uh, 13,200 13, volts uh, on their on their primary uh, lines here. Um, the, that voltage can vary from place to place and from area to area. Um, that's not set in stone, but I think it's a, a fairly common one. Um, and at the end of our um, um, uh, drive there, where, where we have the, the power pole coming in here, we have our three transformers uh, there. And uh, out of those three transformers, we end up getting the, uh, the four uh, main cables that come out. That, that go over to us so um, they uh, they have um, I think these are probably standard uh, types of transformers there the uh, um, the 55 to 1 step down where they'll uh, then they, they have a um, uh, 240 uh, 120 with a neutral uh, secondary but we're not using the 240 output at all on, on on any of the three so there's just no connections there and um, so we just take the three individual um, uh, transformer secondary outputs and run them through our three phase power meter here and through our little disconnect uh, switch fuse panel and over to our uh, our uh, circuit breaker box where they have the three different 120 volt rails uh, going down um, in regards to the uh, the phase they're all separated by um, uh, uh, 300 and uh, or I should say 120 degrees uh, between each leg here so uh, I, I like using this uh, picture here as an example of when the uh, the electricity first was when it was Theoretically, when it was very first put out, that the first leg here uh, started, and that there was a time delay before the second leg started of the 120 uh, degrees, which at 60 hertz, that translates to 5.56 milliseconds. So here's the uh, the first leg firing, then the second leg, then they delayed the third leg another 5.56 and um, and then they all started running and once that initial uh, startup happened you could no longer tell which one was first because depending on where you dropped in here um, it, it would show you one that appeared to be just starting but you would have no idea uh, which of the actual three was the uh, was the first but and it's irrelevant it doesn't matter which one was the first just know that they are staggered in their time uh, by this uh, 5.56 seconds milliseconds uh, per each uh, waveform there 
So um, that gives you uh, a little bit better um, understanding of um, the phase part about it, that how they're separated. Now, uh, the the other part that's weird is this uh, 208 volts, and what that the 208 volts are measured across uh, any of the combination of the three legs, so like L1 to L2 or L2 to L3. And um, how that works is, is that, um, and here is a little chart showing the different uh, voltage relationships. You can see that you got 208 across any of the, uh, the three hot legs. And if you um, put a voltmeter across the uh, uh, two of the hot legs and measured in, at instantaneous points in time here, you would you would see how they add up to make this the the two one uh, twenties add up to make one two oh eight, and it's not even a um, uh, like a sloppy addition. It's it's a precise sine wave just like the original two, and they, there's nothing distorted or anything about it. But um, that's how they get the the two oh eight. Um, uh, voltage is they're doing the instantaneous across if you were tapping across uh, any any of the two legs at one time so uh, to make it simple just imagine uh, going across two of the 120 legs is the same as if you had a, a 208 volt uh, hot and a neutral uh, they it's the same the same thing so um, Anyway, um, once you get here to the meter panel, it all um, splits out like a normal circuit breaker panel does. Uh, if you need just a single um, circuit, say for a light, you only have to tap off one of the um, uh, buses. If you need to run something like a, a heavy duty, like a dryer that needs a, a 208 voltage, then you would run a, a, a two pole breaker and run two hot wires out to your dryer. And if you're running something um, big like a, a pump, like for a, a AC compressor pump that needed three phase, then you could run three hot wires out and, uh, and let the, uh, uh, the motor and the, and the compressor take advantage of the three phases um, to be, uh, that's, that's where they really pay off in the efficiency is when they're running uh, motors but um, anyway this is your this is your um, um, uh, your basic setup here I have right here showing a, the the ground neutral bond is being in this box it's actually out here in the service disconnect on this one um, it's not a big deal as long as there's no other uh, sub boxes coming off uh, before that but um, otherwise it's pretty straightforward um, I'm going to give you a, a, a video now showing the uh, the actual physical where the things are and what they look like and um, I'll break out my voltmeter and show you the voltages uh, inside the box here um, the one thing that I, I did want to uh, to get across that's a little bit really hard concept to understand is is that um, when the the power company is sending power across and they they send it to this transformer here um, the uh, amount of current that is induced on the um, secondary side so if if in this particular case because we're only using 120 we have like a uh, it's like a hundred and ten to one uh, step down which uh, goes the opposite way as well as far as the um, um, the amount of current. Uh, so if um, if if I if I wanted to make um, uh, uh, 11 amps at 120 volts, let's say I had like a 11 amps, like say I had a like a, a heavy duty uh, vacuum cleaner, and it, it drew 11 amps. Well, I would only need to get like a, a tenth of an amp from my uh, my supply voltage at 13.2, uh, 
Uh, so if you had 13,000 uh, volts at a tenth of an amp, that's 1,300 watts, which is the same as uh, 120 volts at 11 amps. So that tenth of an amp that's going through your primary here on the transformer, that's the only amount of current that needs to make it all the way back to the power uh, substation, uh, either through the neutral wire or through all the different ground connections all the way along. However, it, it got there the easiest. Uh, that's the only current that would need to be uh, returned back to the substation. The, um, the other uh, 11 amps that was generated here on the secondary going between the, the vacuum and back up the neutral back up here, that current would be uh, isolated to this part of the world, uh, if you will. And although the, um, the, the primary um, output and the, the neutral and all these things are all still tied together, the, the, the currents know which way to go and which way not to go. So, but I just wanted to go over that little fact about how uh, um, the return current is, does not represent the local current generated. Um, but anyway, here's your 208120 three phase system. And um, yeah, stand by for the, uh, for the, uh, the actual physical uh, tour. Thanks. All right, we're starting here at the uh, transformers uh, coming in on the uh, pole from the power company. You see we got uh, three main uh, hot wires coming in and then a neutral uh, down below the uh, uh, transformers. Uh, one thing to pay attention to is that how um, all three transformers uh, have their neutrals tied uh, together and they're also tied to the neutral on the uh, on the line there and this uh, that neutral actually goes through a bolt and goes down to uh, the ground so it's got a, uh, a ground termination there as well uh, but the uh, output of all of that uh, mess there are four wires uh, that come out and go down to the building so we're going to have three hots and one neutral so Let's uh, head over to the building and have a look at it. Okay, so those four wires came off the pole there and went underground. And they pop, they're they popping up here at our electric panel. And um, uh, this is a, a special three-phase uh, electric panel. So after it goes through the electric panel, we come over here to our uh, disconnect uh, panel. And... Um, I'm currently uh, disconnected right now. We don't have a lot going on in this building, so uh, I was able to disconnect it to show you inside. You can see the, we got three blade fuses there. And uh, over here on the left, we have our neutral bus coming in. And I want you to notice that our ground wire coming up is tied in right here to our neutral. So this is gonna be our ground neutral bond uh, happening right here at the uh, at the disconnect panel so let's uh let's shut this up and turn it back on there we go and take a look inside now at the actual panel so here's the panel and you can see we got our three uh main uh 120 volt feeds uh coming down with our neutral coming over here and our ground coming up to our ground bus there. So um, each one of these uh, uh, hot wires come in and we got three different rail buses that come in. And uh, as the circuit breakers here clip on, they, they attach to one of those three. And if you were going to be a, uh, uh, needed a, uh, a three phase for like a pump or a motor, you would get a three breaker that would snap across all three. If you're looking to do something like a uh, dryer or something and you needed the 208, then you would use uh, two of the uh, double breaker. But anyway, it's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, comes in and dumps out to here. 
And then the distribution is the same as in a normal 240, 120 uh, house. So there's your, uh, there's your breakout demo. Okay, so we're here at the panel and we're going to be doing some uh, uh, basic voltage checks. Um, um, we're going to start off with uh, putting one lead on our neutral here and just double confirming that we have no voltage on our ground um, and that because we were we were bonded uh, right out there at the uh, disconnect and so that's good there so now we want to look at the voltage from neutral to L1 and there's our 121.5 we want to look at uh, L2 121.9 and then finally uh, L3 122.7 and we can confirm that same voltage uh, to ground uh, so that's all good to go there um, so there's our three legs at 120 now let's uh, look across the uh, the three individual legs and to find our 208 so we'll go across L1 and L2 and there we are 210.7 we'll go uh, l2 to l3 209.8 and then finally we'll go l1 to l3 and we got 212.8 so you can see we got some slight uh, voltage uh, differences and that'll just be in the tolerances of the uh, of the transformers out there on the pole um, we're, we're drawing hardly any current through this panel right here, so we're not looking at uh, one leg being loaded down or anything like that. But um, uh, that's, uh, that's to be expected. But anyway, uh, there's, your, there's your voltage levels for your 208-120 panel.